Okay, hello everyone. In today's video, we're gonna be making a new updated guide on Locked. So if you're pretty new at the game and you want some help, watch this video. Let's go. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna be giving you guys like a blueprint on what to do. And the first thing to do is basically press M, use use some codes. Go join their Discord and use the codes. But don't use them all in one slot. Use half of the codes on one slot and the other half on the other slot, okay? It's gonna be pretty decent. Like, you go to the Discord and there are some codes. Or maybe just type in on Google, like, uh, I don't know, locked codes. And it should pop out. Okay, simple. Then, decide what build to go for. I'm gonna be explaining, like, the... The abilities the trades the the flow the height system and everything everything later on okay so yeah that's the first step second step is to basically go into a private server you generate a code here you copy paste the code and go enter okay simple as that here we are and after this you go and try out everything because you're if you like Literally, a newbie, you haven't played this game at all, you're not gonna know what to do, okay? So, here, let's go, okay. First of all, you see, while running, you lose stamina. It does regenerate, like, by itself, but if you press V, look at this. It's a lot faster, simple as that, okay? You pre By pressing left click, you go and dribble the ball, okay? Simple as that. First of all, let's uh, explain the keybinds. You have flow on G. This is the, your flow bar. So when it hits 100, you can press G and you will get a boost depending on what you like uh, spin. Okay. On Q, you can tackle. Here. Okay. When the opponent has the ball, you can tackle them and steal the ball. Here's a cooldown and pretty, pretty easy. Like, you tackle and you get the ball, if you're good, okay? Here is the, the traits. Traits, if it's an active trait that you can use, like Golden Zone, for example, you press T to use it, okay? If it's, an, if it's a passive, you don't press anything, because, again, it's a passive, right? Simple. If you have, like, a trait to use, you just press T, like golden zone, you hit, like press T here and you shoot from here, easy goals, okay? Simple. Now, the abilities, they're all on R, so, King, for example, if you, wait, what the hell? Okay, it's, it's okay, it doesn't matter, we can use it later, but the abilities are on R, easy. Right, let's go. Now, with dribbling, dribbling is not that hard, they're just, I mean, this is probably the hardest thing of the in the game, but it's not that hard, okay? I have the my flow, by the way. Now, we're gonna use it, and here, I'm, I'm a lot faster. I have, like, a speed build on, on this uh, slot, so yeah. First of all, dribbling basics, okay? You don't want to have the ball, like, a lot far away from you. Like, like this, okay? That is not good. People can stole, uh, steal the ball easily from you. If you're doing it like this. Keep the ball close to you. Like, like this. You see? It's a lot harder for people to steal it. Same goes if you're going backwards. Okay? Really easy. Really simple. Second thing is dribbling in, in the air. You can do it like this. That's pretty decent if, like, there are a lot of people around you. Or, if you want, you can go like this. But that's not, like, the best dribbling, dribbling uh, style. Because, like... If the player is good enough, they can just right click in the air. Like it happened to it has happened to me like a thousand times. So I would recommend just dribbling like this. Like close. Keep the ball close. And don't click as much. And simple simple dribbles are ones that like get you to the goal close like close enough so you can shoot. Okay? And then that's pretty easy, pretty simple. Like dribbling is not hard. You can just play for a day and you can get the hang, hang of it, okay? Now for shooting, depending on your height, your shots will be like 
more powerful or less powerful. I'm like 5'3", I think, on this build. And my shots are pretty weak, as you can see. If you're 6'3", you can shoot, like, from here and have, like, more power than me, like, shooting in the box. Really dumb, but, I, I mean, it's fair. Like, if you're, fa if you're uh, shorter, you're faster, so it, it does even it out. But I think 5'9 might be, like, one of the best things because you have the most stamina when you're 5'9, so, yeah, I'm not sure. I might need to test it out. Like, look at this. I'm so weak, bro. It doesn't even get to the goal. Like, come on, bro. Unfair. But yeah, L like shooting, it's really simple. You can shoot in the air as well. If you can try like that, but you need to be strong. You need to be like 6'3 and maybe like have some abilities that help you out while shooting in the air, like Nagi or the, the header like ability or passive. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it was, but yeah, you can shoot in the air as well, but it's, it's nothing special. Like... I don't recommend that, okay? Or maybe you can shoot like this. Like, no, wait. Let me show. I need to show that. It's pretty cool. Like, like this. Yeah, that, that is cool. That is cool. But it's pretty hard to hit, so, yeah. That's basically it about, like, playing the game. You just need to practice and, like, play against others. A lot. Like play play autos play like every 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 like five minutes or like it was ten minutes. This is the ability by the way, my ability king. Uh, you can play autos every like five or ten minutes. I'm not sure. And imagine if you're playing like for like two or three hours, you have like fifteen games, bro. Like by fifth by like the fifteenth game, you're gonna be pretty decent. So yeah, just practice and you're gonna be good. Now let's go to the Trello and like explain everything else that is in the game okay so here we are the trello i'm gonna explain everything like like right here first of all we have like links i'm gonna i'm gonna like uh in the description i'm gonna link everything so you don't need to like go here and check everything simple game controls we explained that pretty easy like i explained everything i didn't explain it for goalkeepers because i'm not a goalkeeper but here you go, here are the, the controls, and for private servers, yeah, okay, but we're not, oh, we don't have a private server, okay, simple. Currency system, you get money by playing the game, and you can spin with the money, simple, but there are a lot of codes, bro, so yeah, you have, okay, yeah, flow buff, so this is the, once you get off, like, get flow, you can get a buff, like, when, when you uh, get the bar to 100, you press G, you get a buff from the flow. And you have speed, hitbox, power, cooldown, and stamina. Cooldown? Goofy. Don't use that. Ever, okay? Hitbox? If you're a defender, maybe, but I think, like, speed is better for defenders. And stamina, pretty goofy. So, I'd, I'd say go with speed or power, de depending on your build. But, in my opinion, speed is the best. And you can get... Max 15%. It's the max uh, flow buff, which is pretty good to know. I have like 12.5 speed, pretty decent. And yeah, minimum is 5%, my max is 15. Height system. Here you go. Okay. 5-3, you're the fastest player on the pitch, but you have the like the weakest shot. 6-3 same thing but vice versa you have the strongest shot but you're the slowest and here you have 80 stamina like if you're the, the closer you are to these numbers to these heights the the less stamina you have because if you if you're five nine you have a hundred stamina and you, you double like your stamina uh, recharge speed is a lot faster as you can see i mean the speed is the same but like you have a lot more stamina regen so yeah, that, that, that is what like uh, why I think 5.9 might actually be broken, but it's okay. You need to play it out, like play with different heights so you can figure out, figure out what's the best for you. Dribbling, we covered everything like right here. Yeah, chop dribbling is goofy with right clicks. 
you can only use that when like someone is trying to tackle you but th this is not used that much honestly you have live dribbling like what i explained and air dribbling like with uh with the head but you can use that to shoot as well so i mean rarely rarely but yeah it, it can happen side tackle with q yeah this is pretty good if you have like uh, nice instincts and reflexes you can use this steel breaking i mean this is basic you know you can right click and steal the ball from people we know everyone knows that but if you miss you get ankle broken which is pretty dumb and and you can use like uh ego you, you can use ego if you get like ankle broken and if you miss a shot something like that just so you know i, I think i didn't uh, mention that before jump fatigue and yeah when you jump more you get fatigued and you cannot jump again like like here as you can see but that is not that useful honestly i'm gonna uh, leave the weapons and traits for last game passes you can you can like get some but it's pretty goofy no need for that these these are all like uh cosmetics and uh, yeah you, i have this because i bought the game but yeah uh Emote tre Trello changes. This is not useful. It doesn't matter. I mean, you can see the update changes. So, yeah, if you want. Faces, not gonna do anything. Like, that doesn't help help out. Same goes for flow types. Like, they're all cosmetic. But if you want, I'm gonna tell you which are, like, decent, in my opinion. Lightning is good. Wild card looks decent. Monster is goofy. Don't use that. Snake is meh. Skull is okay. Demon Wings is amazing. Genius is okay. Finds pretty mid. Butterfly is cool. Crow is cool. And Chameleon is like okay. Like I'd go with those. But in my opinion of course. Now weapons. We have unique. Legendary. Exotic. Exotic. Oh my god. Rare and common. Common. Common's like meh. Pretty mid. Every single one. Iron Head is pretty decent. People. I've, I've seen some people use this. And like. You, you score you score with this okay this is the this is the one uh, i was talking about iron head yeah and this is wait and i think this is a passive one i'm not sure i'm pretty sure it's passive when you just like hit with your uh head so yeah leader mid don't use any of the comments it's, it's uh except of iron head if you are actually gonna use a comment so yeah web pretty defensive but it's okay uh forces your opponent to walk when activating near them it's fine uh repel this is for goalies i think yeah erotic pretty mid don't use this uh snatch same goes again for goalies copycat copycat is okay but uh eh, don't use that kunigami pretty uh strong like it's okay for like shooting but i i wouldn't say like just w having one ability with shooting is pretty mid, so don't use that. Uh, shadow, shadow is okay. Like you can boost yourself for a bit, and I mean the cooldown is pretty long for the ability itself, but it's okay. It can be useful. Voracious, yeah, it's okay, but it's like it's okay. I mean, not bad, but not good. Watchtower. This is, I, I don't know, this is pretty goofy, honestly. So, hitbox buff. Like, look at this, bro. This is so small, it's not gonna be useful. Unless you're in the box, like, close to the goal, not, not useful, okay? Now, we go with the legendaries. Acrobatic, useless, if you're not a goalie, speed spitzer. Pretty decent. You go a lot faster. And, I'm not sure, where's the cooldown? Eh, it's fine, but that that is decent nagi is pretty good it's pretty good okay if you know how to use nagi bro you're you're chilling you're chilling okay and you can dribble as well without like shooting but you can shoot as well okay simple and and as you can see the cooldown is pretty low that's why i think it's pretty decent that's why nagi is amazing riptide i think this is so underrated bro the cooldown is so low and if I have like I, I I used Egoist with Riptide as my first build, it's pretty decent. 
you can score a lot of goals. You curve the shots, basically. And it's really unexpected. Like, some people don't know how to counter Riptide. And it's basically, he, like, hard to counter it. So, yeah. Monster. This is, I mean, it's okay. But, like, look at this. You can use that every 60 seconds, but it's so easy to counter, bro. Like, if you... I mean, if you're playing 1v1, this might be useful, but anything like 2v2, 3v3 is not that good, honestly. Sword screw, pretty mid. I don't like it because, like, look at this. Like, who is gonna fall for that, honestly? You might score one goal with this, and that's it. That's it. Like, it's it's pretty mid. Okay, so formless, formless is good if you want to score a lot a lot of goals, because as you can see like bam and you this is decent but the the cooldown like i think every unique weapon has like a lot like a long cooldown so that's mid but it's okay especially the one i'm using king but king has basically like three moves which is good you can shoot you can dribble in the box you can dribble outside the box and pretty it's pretty decent emperor uh shot pretty decent the shot is amazing again long cooldown so you can basically use it like only once no uh two or three times in a game so yeah serpent this is really like a defensive uh you can use it for in the box yeah as well this is pretty like a defensive uh weapon so if you're a defender this is the best probably the best uh ability to have the best weapon godspeed is like for speed mainly and i like it you can steal a lot of balls with this i have i have this on like my other slot which is and i think it's pretty cool because not taking the ball you have a lot like the the cooldown is a lot lower which is good so yeah like if the if the ball is close like that you can s steal it a lot a lot of the time and this helps out a lot so yeah planetary this is like more of like a support type weapon i guess but i don't like it this is if you're playing in a team which are probably not if you're like new at the game this is useless so don't use it unless you have like a friend and you're like running autos together all the time then yeah you, maybe maybe then you can use that comments these are all useless if you get this i'm sorry brad but like gotta gotta freaking spin again heavy not that good but it's like you're slower but you you're sh like your shot is stronger pretty mid okay uh this pretty dumb not useful clamps not useful powerhouse is okay like decent but you can get something better tank mid long strides this is also mid bro a sprint speed boost like i mean it's yeah you're faster but there are other traits which are like 10 times better that's why these are not good like these nuts haha <laughs> uh fortune okay let's see cash in autos useless diver useless unless you're like a goalie Law again, I think it's a for the goalies, yeah. Pretty mid, pretty mid. Tireless, more stamina. This is okay if you're if you're like 5'9 and you have tireless, bro. You can run a lot, and people are not gonna expect that. Ripper, what the hell is this? Uh-huh. Okay, that, that is cool, but there are other better traits. That's why. Like, even if the trait is generally decent, there are a lot better traits. That are gonna be better for your build, you know? That's why I'm not saying... Like, I'm saying... Like, the, this is generally good, right? But compared to... Let's say... I, I don't know... Egoist... This is nothing, okay? That's why. So, yeah. Unbreakable, pretty goofy... Bunnies... This is... Higher jumps... Like... No... Athlete... Not good... Honestly... Uh, no look no look is fun it's fun to use but 
you're not it doesn't like buff buff anything so or like it it's only like a passive and it doesn't buff anything so pretty goofy quick draw is cool some people can get uh, can like be, uh catch caught off guard with this so yeah meta vision it's this is this one is pretty good like this is probably the best defensive build like uh defensive trait um, like combined with like serpent or something like that this is pretty decent here is golden zone this is like okay but it's pretty hard to use honestly egoist egoist is amazing i think egoist might be like one of the best because you have 4x ego gain bro come on and if you have like 13 14 speed or power you can basically have a uh, flow or like the entire game this doesn't have like a a cooldown or anything it's a passive amazing i, lo I love it i love it ambidextrose I i'm not sure how to spell that how to pronounce it uh when fully charging a slider you know. yeah this is goofy because it's rng i mean if you're into gambling like me yeah, use this that's a joke guys don't gamble unless <laughs> I'm, pl I'm playing i'm playing for real youtube come on uh allows a player to give five this is goofy i mean you have you give other players flow but if you're not playing in a team again there are more self-centered um traits that you can use this this just buffs the other weapons that have shots okay predator i buffs like shots look at this yeah all of them they're all same so yeah that's why I, I mean this is okay puppeteer is okay if you're in a like puppeteer is the best if, if you're in a team this one i don't like it that's why i would say like go with either metavision egoist or golden zone this one goofy rng so yeah that's basically all that's everything so yeah if you if you guys liked this video that's all i'm not gonna bore you with like playing a, a game and explain everything because that's it if you if you enjoyed the video if this like helped you out in any way make sure to like share subscribe and all of that and also if you want some content if you have like an any an idea tell me in the comments and yeah that's gonna be it see you guys in the next video goodbye